Uh, balance the ruler lab, situation one. So you start these problems by doing a free body diagram for the object that uh, could be in a state of rotation. Uh, all the problems that we're going to be doing in this class will be situations where the object could rotate but doesn't, right? Meaning that the torques will cancel. All right, so what are the forces acting on this meter stick in this problem? Well, look, the, uh, the, the meter stick itself has a weight. Notice up here, shh, notice up here I give you the mass of the meter stick. Oops, we don't want that. Notice I give you the mass of the meter stick. Uh, where do we draw the weight of the meter stick? It goes directly in the center. Uh, that's because the center of mass for the meter stick is in the center. So this is mg for the meter stick using that mass. 0.15 times 9.8. This gives us a, uh, an mg of 1.4857. 1 1.4857. 1 Thank you. Okay, the other four, there's two more forces acting on this meter stick. Now the axis is at the 60.5 mark, so like over here, this is the zero centimeter mark, this is the meter stick. The middle right here is the 50 centimeter mark. The axis is at 60.5. So that dot right there represents axis, and that is the 60.5 centimeter mark and then way over here would be the hundred centimeter mark um, now look the mass to be hung from the meter stick so if we're gonna take this mass and hang it from the stick is it gonna be somewhere over here on the left no right that wouldn't make any sense because the axis is right there okay so we're good to balance the meter stick we're gonna need to take this mass and hang it somewhere over here Okay, so this mass is 0 0.0513. Multiply that by 9.8, and we get 0 0.50274. Okay, and don't round these numbers. If you round these numbers, you're going to get rounding error. Um, and there is one more force on the meter stick. When the meter stick is balanced, uh, what's, there, there has to be an upward force holding everything up. And then this upward force is a normal force it's you know the axis up there is a nail so everything is resting on that nail the nail is a surface so that's a normal force okay now distances now the torque we're going to be solving this problem what we're what we're trying to find is where this mass needs to be hung right the location where that mass needs to be hung to do this we're going to sum torques so the torque equation is force times lever arm. R, R is the lever arm. It's where we get the word leverage. And it's defined as the perpendicular distance from axis to force. That's an important definition. It's the distance from the axis to the force perpendicular. Um, OK. How many torques are acting in this problem? We have three forces. Erase this. So how many, how many torques are acting? Two. This guy causes a torque, and this guy causes a torque. The normal force does not cause a torque. And this has to do with the lever arm. The reason the normal force has no torque is because he is on the axis. So what's the definition for R here? The definition for R, it's the distance from axis to force. So looking at the normal force, how far is the normal force from the axis? Zero. You know, that goes to zero for the normal force, so there is no torque. Forces on the axis cause no torque. You know, it's like if I go over here to this meter stick, if I push on the axis, am I going to rotate the meter stick? Uh-uh, that's zero torque. If you push on the axis of a door, is the door going to rotate? Uh-uh, no torque. Torque is all about, torque is all about rotation. 
Okay, so we got two torques. So we're all, believe it or not, we're almost done here. We just got to specify our distances. So look, I'm going to put distances in red just to make this different. So we measure our distances from the axis. So this red line represents the axis. So this distance in here, we can figure this out. What would that distance be? Well, let's see. This is 50 centimeters. That's 60.5. So how far is this? 10.5. And then this other distance over here is what we're looking for. So we call that x. Okay? When you're using torque, force and distance must be what? Perpendicular. Let's just make sure that's the case. So here's the force. Here's the distance. Is this force perpendicular to the distance? Yes. Let's check the other one. Here's the force. Here's the distance. Are they perpendicular? Yes. So we're good. All right, so now let's solve it. We got the distances. So the way you solve this, we're going to sum the torques. Let me put this in black. Okay, sign convention for torque is what? Clockwise, counterclockwise. This guy right here is trying to rotate the axis clockwise. This guy right here is trying to rotate the, uh, the ruler counterclockwise. Okay, so let's say that clockwise is plus, counterclockwise is minus. You have to know where the axis is. So if the axis is right here, if the axis is right there, this force, just imagine, it's pulling down on the meter stick, right? This force right here is trying to rotate the meter stick clockwise. Do you see it? This force right here is trying to rotate the meter stick counterclockwise. So we'll say clockwise plus, counterclockwise minus. Okay, so summing the torques, we're going to go 0 0.50274 newtons times x, right? So we're going force times distance. And are they perpendicular? Yes. Okay. Then minus 1.4857 times 10.5 centimeters. Now look, I usually have you guys convert to meters. It doesn't matter here. If you leave this in centimeters, then that means that x will come out in centimeters. So let's just leave it in centimeters. Okay? In this class, the sum of the torques will be zero, which simply means the torques will cancel. Okay? So now you take this. The only thing missing there is x, and x comes out as 31.0 centimeters. So is that where we hang the mass? Uh-uh. What that's telling us is 31 centimeters from where? F not from the center. From the axis. So you go 31 centimeters this way. Keep in mind this was 60.5. So 60.5 plus 31 centimeters is what? 91 centimeters. 91, sorry, 0.5. 91.5 centimeters. Okay, so let's try it. Did we do this yesterday? Do we hang? Let's let's check it.